All right, guys, it is making pizza night. <laughs> so me and my hubby are huge fans of pizza. Homemade pizza, bought pizza, it doesn't matter. But we do prefer when I make them at home because you're getting healthier and they taste amazing. But I have made our pizza on homemade pizza dough, on bread dough, on wraps, on English muffins, on all kinds of stuff, right? Anyway, this is incredible. It is like a flatbread. I'm telling you, it cuts cooking time down to half an hour. It's amazing and it tastes so good. Like the bread dough on it, even though it's not like it's already cooked, but it's so good. It's just perfect. I highly recommend this. This is actually our new favorite one because it makes it so much easier for me. But I have fried up extra lean hamburger which i'm going to use half of the other half is for tomorrow night supper which i'll show you guys tomorrow night i only have a little bit of pizza sauce left so what i'm going to do to spread it further is use two tablespoons of the this is canned chili which i used last night which i'm going to use tomorrow night but i'm going to use two tablespoons of that with the rest of the sauce it's going to be perfect we got our cheese onion tomato green pepper a little bit of pepperoni. So let's put this together. Let's cook together. Get our pizza made for supper tonight. Yeah, as far as making a pizza the easiest way possible, this is it. It's incredible. And it's, I've bought it when it was on clearance because it was like outdated by a day or two. And it was still just as good as, like, I can smell the bread. It just smells divine. Paris out of the kitchen, baby. I'm trying to be more diligent with um, not giving her as many snacks because, ooh, because she has gained some weight over the winter just from being indoors. But now that spring's coming, I'll be getting ready to walk her, her and Coco. But I am trying to cut down on snacks. They eat three times a day. They have their dry food out, which because they're eating like their favorite food during the day, they're not really touching their dry food too much. So now I don't want to use all this because I need it for tomorrow night. So I'm just going to use a tablespoon actually. Oh, I need a little bit more. About that much. And I have less than half a can for tomorrow night, but I'll make it work. I'll tell you right now, I'm doing homemade healthy nachos tomorrow night. We buy the Tostitos with no salt, and it just, oh, it's incredible. So, yeah, I'm just kind of mixing the chili with the sauce. Now, the beans, I'm not used to beans on a pizza, but there's only a couple. It's going to be okay. We probably won't notice with all the other ingredients going to be on. All I know is it's going to taste amazing. It smells incredible. <laughs> oh, it's like a windstorm out there today, I'm telling you. I try to go right to the very edge. And I find this helps it from not burning. Like when you put the... I've never burnt this crust at all. But I have overcooked the regular pizza dough. So, anyway... There we go. Now, the next thing I put on is grated cheese, so I'm going to go off camera, grate up my cheese, and then I'll be back because you guys know what grating cheese looks like. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got my cheese grated. I put it on this, so we're just going to evenly distribute and I try not to overdo it with cheese I've had pizzas before that just have too much cheese on it and I'm a cheese girl I love cheese I really do but when I make it like healthier style I want there to be enough that it's like covered but not too much that it's like oops too much cheese. you know what I mean anyway I feel like that's good. 
just using the, the big chunks there. Okay, may as well put the rest on because instead of having to put a bag and put it in the fridge, just throw it on. But I think we're good there. All right. Get out my little clay. Now, me and my hubby are onion fans. So we're going to, this is a big onion. I'm going to use it all. It cooks beautifully in the oven, so. Oops. Losing it all over the place here. hear the wind just blowing outside it's a lot today it, it really is deceiving because it looks like it's nice out the sun's out there's like water on the highway because the snow is melting but it's so cold with that wind there go lay down dear she's right here but by my side trying to remind me she's right there so I took off all our, well, our sheet sets, but I also washed our comforters. We have two like really, I have one that's like a, it's a stress blanket. It's a weighted blanket. And then the other one um, is really heavy too. Like it's extra, it's not just a normal lightweight comforter. It's heavy. So that's the only thing that can go on the load of laundry is like one comforter at a time because they're so big so I've been working on that and um, got all our laundry cut up the girls beds and bedding because they have Paris and Coco have each their own dog bed and they each have their own blanket that goes on their dog bed so that's all washed and <sighs> I got a good start to our spring cleaning there's always so much to do when you have a home like you might do like a huge cleaning but then there's cleaning every day to keep it up and I don't mind it's just sometimes it can be a lot when you get like extra things going on okay I'll save the onion for the top because I want the onion to be well cooked so what I'm doing is just gonna use half of the hamburger just half so that the other half can be used tomorrow supper yeah, but this hamburger is really dry. I have to actually add water when I'm cooking it because there's no fat. It's um, one of the best hamburgers. We buy it from a place not far from us, and it's one of the best hamburgers that we've ever bought in all our years. So this pepperoni, I'll use probably like uh, this much. So I'm going to cut them in four. That way it kind of spreads. You know what I mean? Instead of putting it whole, maybe I'll just cut them in half. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to... I don't like cutting directly on the stove, so but I had to. Okay, I'm just going to kind of make it spread. Now, my hubby loves a pizza with lots of meat, but I try to get all the vegetables in that I can. And he enjoys that too. He honestly does. He'll enjoy. Okay, I need to, crap. I'm gonna have to put the onion on now because I need the plate to cut the green pepper and the tomato. So let's just get it going. And like I said, this is a lot of onion, but, oh, that's a little too much in that one spot. Maybe I cut too much onion. It's looking that way, isn't it guys? I think I might have took too big of an onion, but that's okay. There. Okay, I just got to wash the tomato and then we'll cut the tomato. Oopsie. All right, tomato time. I love having 
like tomato, red onion, and green pepper always on hand because they're so good to add to anything if you wanted to make an omelet, pizza, spaghetti sauce, like almost you can put it on anything if you're doing a sub, a wrap, you know what I mean? It's just such a good, it's a way to get some nutrients in, so. All right, so I'm just gonna take these and cut them in half. Beautiful. See, I wish the onion was on top to get more crispier, but that was my fault. I should have waited till the end to cut the onion and I didn't. So we'll make it work. And if you haven't ever tried tomato on your pizza, if you like tomato at all, I highly suggest someday when you make pizza or order pizza, give it a try. Because I never thought that we would like tomato on our pizza either, but we love it. We love it. Now that we've had it, we love it. I'm going to use the rest of this green pepper because green pepper tastes amazing on a fresh pizza. It just freshens everything up. So I just need to wash that piece. Now, I love to put fresh um, mushrooms, pineapple, black olives, but I'm just using what I have. And this pizza is going to be so loaded already. You guys seen how top heavy, like with all the toppings? But that's what fills you. And you know what? It's a good filler. It's not like it's like fatty stuff or all meat or load it with veggies, guys. My cousin, him and his, they're separated now, but him and his wife, they both lost a ton of weight. And then they, after losing weight, they really got into the gym scene. Like, not bodybuilder, but doing weights and that and toned up. And anyway, once they had me and my hubby over for supper and his, his wife, she made us homemade pita wraps like no I'm saying it wrong homemade pita pizzas and she loaded it there was chicken and then the rest was all vegetables and I mean everything you can think of anything that would go on a pizza of vegetables she had on it including broccoli and I'm not joking it tasted amazing and we were so full we felt like you felt like you had a, a meal for three people and it was the vegetables that made us feel so full. It was incredible because it was actually a healthy, that was actually a healthy supper and it was so good. And she's the one that gave me the idea all those years ago, when I do pizza, that's our opportunity to get all, to get your veggies in, you know, get them in. Do something good for yourself. Sorry guys, washing my hands. Okay, I'm going to pop this in the oven, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's cooked. Okay, oops, dropped a piece of cheese. Before it goes in, I just thought you would like to see. Doesn't that literally look incredible? It looks incredible. Yum. Oh, I forgot to put my spices on. Hold on. I almost cooked it without our spices. And this adds so much flavor to the pizza. So this is oregano, just from the dollar store, cheap oregano. But it makes pizza so good. All right. And then this is a Parmesan cheese blend. Not from the dollar store, it's from like the grocery store, but it lasts forever. All right, look at that. Now just adding those two spices adds so much extra flavor. It's incredible. It takes it from like a 50 to a 5,000. So it's gonna be good. Oh, pray tell you guys, doesn't this look incredible? The steam is coming right off it. I just held it out of the oven. But look how beautiful this is. It's going to be a good supper tonight. Yum. Well, this smells divine. 
It really does. So I'm just going to cut it down the middle. And then it makes two huge, like, 12-inch pizzas. Look at this. Look at that. And these will be so filling. And as you guys can tell, I load the pizzas. It's just really hot at first. Maybe I should have let it sit for a minute or so. Because yeah, it's hot. <clears throat> yeah, I think, whoa. I think I'm going to let it cool before I cut the rest. It's too hot. All right, you guys. I wanted to show you the pizza before I start eating. I just use a fork and a knife because it's so loaded. But me and my hubby are watching Netflix. It's called Suits. It's such a great TV show for a couple, like for a guy or a girl. It's like a good show. Anyway, I want to do a taste test, but this smells incredible. Boo, what do you rate it? Like what? He's over there eating his. What do you rate it, boo? A 10? Oh, yeah, the crust cooked m much better this time, eh? Yes. I had it cooking too low last time. Mmm. Two thumbs up. That's delicious. And I got a miniature can of Pepsi that was in the freezer. Oh, that's so cold. This is hitting the spot tonight. Pizza in a movie with my loves.